Well, education policy once again in the spotlight at the state capitol this morning. Lawmakers seeing bills that modify school tax credits, restrict school security funding, and give teachers paid adoption leave. KOCO's Andy Weber joining us live now. Andy, that paid adoption leave seems to be another attempt to retain teachers. Yeah, the argument from the bill's author is that since they gave teachers paid maternity leave last year, it only seemed to make sense and seem fair to give them as well paid adoption leave this year. The bill here is Senate Bill 1315. It was heard in the House Education Budget Subcommittee this morning. Teachers would be given six weeks of leave if the bill were to become law. It passed out of that subcommittee 13 to 1. It now needs a vote in the full budget committee and a vote on the House floor before it can be sent to the governor. Also advancing this morning, Senate Bill 1478. That bill prohibits virtual charter schools from receiving state security funding. And 1478 also needs two more votes, both in a committee as well as the floor before it can be sent to the governor for his signature. Back to you. And Andy, a Senate committee hearing a bill that would make some modifications to the state's uh, private school tax credit act. What can you tell us about that? Well, Jess, it appears that bill was just held over until next week. That bill is uh, Senate bill, House bill, excuse me, 3388. It looks to patch any issues that were found with the bill that was passed last year dealing with the private school tax credit. That includes having a priority for families that make less than $150,000 a year and also making clear that these tax credits are not taxable income. Reporting live at the Capitol, I'm Andy Weber, KOCO 5 News.